In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a PowerPoint slide where you can merge the three options or three steps into one. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, it will show the step one uh, with some gradient fill. You can add the number here and then you can add some detailed text. And when I click, this will show me the option two and then the option three, which is merging and becoming as one uh, object or a one point okay and then you can add some title and some detailed text here likewise i have created one more slide with some different color combination so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010, some features may not be available. So I highly recommend you to use the latest version of PowerPoint. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the circle hollow, just click it and shape outline make it no outline and then the height and width depending on your requirement you can increase maybe three all right or i have to go uh, more bigger than this would be four and then align center align middle and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the width you can see here i'm just going to keep it like this and then I'm going to retain only one part and the rest of the three parts I'm going to delete that one so with the help of a rectangle I'm going to select only one part here you can see here only one part I have selected then I'm going to select the circle hollow hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape I can click on intersect so you can see here I end up getting only the one part of the circle only out of four parts now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d bring it down then i'll go to rotate flip vertical again flip horizontal and zoom in and make sure to align it perfectly you can see here something like this all right so it looks like kind of a shape a symbol like this and then you can go to insert shapes and I'm going to choose uh, this one which is the arrow pentagon draw the arrow pentagon you can see here depending on your requirement maybe this much size all right shape outline make it no outline again you can see here I need to align it properly just align it exactly like this so this looks perfectly all right for me and then these two shapes i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm keeping aside for my later use and still i can feel there's some gap here which we need to avoid let's see if there's any gap it's no gap here but when i'm reducing it's showing some gap anyway let it be all right so once this is done i'm going to add one more shape here go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose uh, this one which is the the arrow chevron draw the arrow chevron you can see here something like this and merge with this one again shape outline make it no outline again zoom and make sure that it is properly aligned you can hold the alt key also to align it perfectly all right so this looks okay for me and i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to add here or instead of doing the uh, duplicate i'm going to delete this one i want to do it at this stage okay so this is what my requirement is you can avoid that step all right so once this is done i'm going to select all of these three and go to format merge shapes and click on the union all right so it becomes one object then right mouse click go to format shape and you can give some uh, outlines here so you can give the borders go to lines click on the solid line and i'm going to give 
as white it will not be visible but let me just increase the width all right and then i'm going to give the shadow effect so go to the effects and go to the shadow presets i'm going to choose the one which is offset center so you can see here the white outline is visible now so once this is done let me just put it here and later on we can uh, increase or decrease the size also now i'm going to select this one two three press ctrl g to group it or instead of grouping it's better to always make it union merge shapes union and then i'm selecting this one home format and just click on that one all right and then go to the format rotate you can i need to flip vertical and then i'm just going to put it here exactly at this stage and send this to back all right so you can see here i have added this shape also here and again just to make sure that it is properly aligned i'll just say align left so it's perfectly aligning here and then i can add one more shape at this place all right and as usual i should have done the adding the this shape also so let me just add now here no problems okay and then align it properly and you have to just make sure that the height and width is same so let me just reduce the size a little bit all right and shape outline make it no outline this also no outline and then zoom and make sure that it is properly aligned again from the bottom also i'm aligning all right and then both of these merge shapes i'm going to select union and again go to home format and click on this one and go to format send this to back so you can see here i have added three different shapes now so this is the option one option two and option three which is merging as and becoming only one option all right so now you can give some different color you can select this one and select the gradient fill here i have used before that's the reason it's showing this color so i for this i can give the gradient fill and for this i want to add few more shapes also here or oh, sorry the colors also here i can just choose any color you can see here at the beginning i want some light blue color you can see here and then at the end i need some pink color it looks like this all right and for this also i'm going to select and click on this so it also got the same color now once we have done all these things it's time to add some text so go to insert text box i'm going to type this as one make it bold white font increase the size and put it one here hold the control shift key together drag it down and this will be two and again hold and drag it down this will be three all right and then press ctrl d to duplicate and this is i'm just going to try merge all right you can just right align this one okay and then you can add some detailed text over here i'm going to type equals lorem within brackets center aligned give some gray color reduce the size maybe 11 and then just add it here again hold the control shift key together and add at the bottom and you can add one over here also and you can add some headlines here some title also you can add it and if you like to add one more shape you can go to insert shapes i'm going to choose uh, this uh, the triangle draw the triangle a small triangle like this shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark color let me just zoom and then rotate it like this put it here press ctrl d to duplicate so you have to keep on adding one by one and start rotating a little bit so that it looks like it is going downwards all right you can see here 
again press control D so further I'm going to rotate it I'll rotate it something like this you can see here later on you can align it one by one all right you can see here press ctrl d now let i'm going to turn towards the right press ctrl d more right you can see here something like this all right so you can make the same shape over to these options also and if you like to do some uh, small animation effect you can do that one now let's do some simple animation before animation i'm just going to select this one the small triangles which i've created and press ctrl g to group it and the same triangles you can add it here as well and for the option three also so let me just go without that one and go to the animations enable the animation pane the first one i'm going to select and i'm going to add the wipe wipe effect i'm going to select from left looks like this and for this i can add animation more entrance effects stretch you can see a click ok and this should happen after previous and for this small again i'm going to give the same wipe effect again should start from left should happen with previous all right and then this text you can use the same animation which i have used here so i'm going to select one click on animation painter select this and only thing i'm going to change from the right direction all right so if i play now it looks something like this all right same thing goes for second i'm going to select this one click on the second now you can see here then for this i'm going to click on two then here like this simple and again the next one i'm going to select this let me just select the animation for three then this one at the end i'm going to do the animation for this also let me just select this click on this okay and that should happen after previous and same animation i'm going to do for this also with a uh, left and that should happen with previous so if i play it comes like this you can see here simple animation